All right, Flower City Maple 2017. I have the Smoky Lake 7-inch short bank filter press. Thought I would do a quick how-to and review of my experience with this. Um, this is the short bank, which means uh, you have a shorter bank of uh, filters here. It is expandable out a little bit more this way. And this has the hand pump, which works very well, but it's got the, the cut out, the drill, it's drilled out here for adding an air diaphragm pump if you wanted to upgrade it. Um, I added stainless steel cam lock fittings that I got at brewershardware.com. And this is uh, Milko's um, from Hamby Dairy Supply. The quick disconnects are pretty nice to have just because you can clean your hoses when you're all done and it just makes it a lot easier to take it all apart. The filter press is pretty heavy duty cast stainless steel. This is a window plate. It does have the notches as, as lower on one side than the other so that you can't put it in backwards. Uh, it won't go together properly. So put that together and then you have your solid waffle plate here. It does have the temperature probe which is nice. Goes in like so. When you're ready to set it up, it does come with a set of two complete uh, sets of uh, re reusable filters. Um, it does have a slightly different texture on one side. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't matter uh, which side, how it goes in. Um, the cutouts match up with the holes in the plates and with the two rods on the bottom you just put the paper in until it hits the rods it's getting caught on the plate here Okay, so that's the first one, and you're going to put a filter in between every single one of these gaps. So I'll put another one here. And what the filters do is they, we're going to put uh, diatomaceous earth to mix in with the syrup, and the filters will catch that and provide sort of a screen for a filter cake to, to form. And I saved some filter cake from the last time I, I filtered. Um, it goes in, it's white, and then it gets stained with the syrup and the minerals in the syrup and kind of has a cookie dough or uncooked pie crust texture to it. Just go adding some more filters. very easy compared to flat filtering and you get a nice beautiful clear polished uh, looking syrup versus flat filtering or gravity filtering and we just have one more filter The last one is a little bit tricky to get put together here. Then you just tighten up the nuts. I did use a little bit of a food grade lubricant on these bolts so that they don't get stuck. A product called Dow 111. You could probably use something else as long as it's food grade. And you want it fairly snug, otherwise you'll get a lot of syrup leaking out through. You'll, you'll always get a little bit. And alternating sides, of course, so you know, 
lined it up. Okay, that's probably tight enough. And so at this point, I'm just waiting to heat up my syrup to about 200 degrees. I will check the density before I filter it. I use a, a Murphy cup here by Smoky Lake. It's an excellent tool to have. You know correction charts or anything. It makes quick work out of testing your syrup accurately. And then once we're ready, what we'll do is we'll mix up the DE, which is here, it's like a white powder. And basically what it is, it's like tiny fossilized, um, I guess they're called diatoms. Um, and what that does is it gets suspended in the syrup and collects inside the filter press. And that is what's actually um, gathering the minerals in the syrup and preventing them from coming out here. So we, once the filter press is charged with the diatomaceous earth, we should have a nice crystal clear syrup coming out. So what we'll do is we'll probably add four to five cups. Each one of these window plates holds about three and a, three and a quarter cups of, of DE. So to charge the press, I'll add a lot to get started and then I will recirculate. It's gonna come in through the suction hose and recirculate it back into here to let the, the DE build up a cake against the filter papers inside this press. And once it's running clear, then we can put this hose into our uh, canning unit and it'll be ready for bottling. Okay, uh, the syrup is heated up to a little over 200 degrees and now I'm ready to start adding the diatomaceous earth. It's just a, like a white powder. So that's one cup. Two cups. There's three, and I think I'll stop at four, and then when I do my next batch, well, maybe I'll put in five. Do my next batch, I can still add a little bit more. Okay, um, it's good to have a whisk. Um, you can see I put the the powder in here, the DE, and you just want to stir it up so there's no clumps. It actually it, it suspends in the syrup really easily. And this again is going to all be caught inside the filter press. It's not going to be in the syrup that you're going to be bottling and, and selling or using for yourself. I did check the density of the syrup before adding this. I'm not sure if it would cause an error with the hydrometer, but I like to just make sure that it's correct before I add the, the DE. And we're just about ready here. Okay, so now that the DE is mixed in, I'm going to start pumping. And you'll see it getting drawn into the uh, intake line here. Whoops. It would help if the end of the hose was actually submerged. Sometimes it, it's helpful to have a helper so you don't have to do everything at once here. And once the filter press starts loading up with syrup, it'll start coming out. And you'll see on the temperature gauge, the temperature's rising pretty rapidly. You always want to filter hot syrup, otherwise it's really hard to get the syrup to go through the press. Okay, now it's coming out. You should see that the syrup that's coming out on this hose on the right hand side is nice and clear. But we're still going to keep recirculating to get more of that DE in the press.
Okay, so now that we've charged the filter press with the DE, um, you can see a little bit of syrup seeping through, not too bad. There is a drip plate container or a tray down here to catch the, the drops of syrup that, that ooze out of it. Um, you want to make sure that your, your hose is nice and clean so that there's nothing, no contaminants um, going into your nice clean uh, canning unit. So uh, the last part of the process here is just to filter the rest of this through. And the end result will be crystal clear syrup that will bring up to temperature just to can it. And it'll be ready for uh, sale or, and consumption. It's quite fast. Um, my experience with flat filtering, this, this is far faster and far easier. I'm getting a nicer, more clear product that is uh, very nice to bottle in glass. And the takedown and cleaning of the filter press is pretty easy. Um, I like to do it right after I filtered a big batch because otherwise the syrup will start to dry and, and the papers will stick and um, the papers can start to pull apart a little bit and you'll get fibers, uh, the fibers of the filter and you don't want that in your syrup. So um, at the end when you bottle it, you wind up with a nice clear product like this. Something to be proud of. And that's basically it. That is the Smoky Lake Short Bank hand pump filter press.